This man was Changamai Dondo, who was reputed to have possessed mystical powers. Changamai Dombo was a relative of the Manu Tampa and was one of the local Shona leaders. He gained the title Changamai and an, an effective army known as Rosvi that by the 1670 became the major force in the north, northeast of the Zimbabwe plateau. The area of the Rosvi Empire covered parts of the present day Zimbabwe, Botswana and South Africa. The capital of the empire was at Butua in the southwest. The economic power of the Rosvi Empire was based in Keto. The people of the Rosvi Empire were the first to have developed their own muskets and bands of musketers that chased the Portuguese out of the hinterland of what became Zimbabwe and Tanzania later in the 20th century. The Portuguese had from the 15th century successfully severe trading ties between Great Zimbabwe and India, Chinese and Arabs who had dominated trade in the western coast of the Africa before the arrival of the Portuguese. The empire would only trade with the Portuguese. Hence, when the Portuguese were sacked, trading through the Indian Ocean routes declined. People of the Rosvi Empire often buried their nobles with gold ornaments, salt, and other precious items of the empire. European archaeologists excavating the ruins of the empire in the 19th century were so preoccupied with discovering the precious items in the burial places on the hills that they destroyed most of the raw findings that could have revealed the details of life in the Rosvi Empire at the peak of its influence. There were gold figurines, gold utensils, coins, Chinese, porcelain, textile and other items that might have been common in the empire among the archaeological discoveries. Today the city on the hill that had served as the capital of the empire is nothing but a mountain of rocks and telltales of rigorous excavations in the past.